Okay, here's another way to do a design, which is to import a DXF file directly into uh, the SOLIDWORKS model. So for this, you need to have your DXF file already made, and it needs to be of reasonable size, that is not too many points. So I'll, I'll show the process assuming it's a good size, and in another video we'll discuss that size issue. So uh, go to the Insert menu, and then go to DXF DWG. Okay, and now it's asking for a plane, so of course that'll be this plane. Uh, actually, first hit OK, then hit the plane. Now this part's confusing because it, it's not telling you what to do, and what you need to do is hit the Enter key. So I just hit that, and then it'll bring up a opportunity to select your file. Uh, and right now, uh, I'll choose this file. This is the uh, old USD logo file. And now we have a wizard that's going to take us through this import process. So we're going to click Next. Uh, this is the file. Uh, the units of the data are shown as inches, and you can change that from angstroms to feet. Um, if your file comes in really big as inches, I would suggest choosing like millimeters, because that will of course downsize uh, it by a factor of 25. Uh, but this one I've already sized to be inches in it for it to work. Okay, so now we hit next. Um, the, the white background I find is not that important. You can it will work either way, uh, whether you click white background or not. Uh, let's see. Usually this is fine. Sometimes you want to change the sketch origin. So right now the sketch origin is right in the middle, which is a good place for it. Uh, most times in a DFX file, the sketch origin will probably be down here, and it may be a far away far ways away from the actual information. So here's how you'll move the sketch origin if you want to. Uh, you'll click that and then just click wherever you want the sketch origin. So perhaps maybe I wanted it down in this corner. So it puts it there and then you'd hit apply. Uh, I actually do want it right in the middle so I'm gonna go back to what I had before. Define sketch origin right in the middle and apply. Okay you can also rotate the drawing and we can do that later as well. But uh, I don't know of any way to scale the drawing uh, from this window. That's done later. I believe this uh, Remove Entities button is used if you have extra lines in there that you want to um, uh, kill before they come in. Uh, but you can also do that in a DWG editor. And now we're ready to finish. So it's going to plop that there. And you can see it's... Um, Let's see, it looks like a little big and a little too low. So now we're going to do some scaling and moving. Okay, so we are in the sketch right now because you can see it says ex exit sketch. So one thing it did that it didn't um, did automatically was that it created this, uh, it, it imported this DXF file and put it into a new sketch. So that's the sketch we're sitting in, and now we want to edit that sketch. So first let me select that information. Okay, it's all light blue. And now let's go to the sketch tools. So tools, sketch tools, and there's two uh, or three very handy um, controls here. So there's move, rotate, and scale. And all of those are going to be useful to uh, get your file to be where you want it and the size you want it. So um, the move you can actually do just by clicking and dragging. So if, uh, first let me do a scale to make this a little smaller. So now we have a scale function. Uh, it's already selected the items. Uh, it's asking what point do you want to scale this about? In other words, when I um, zoom in and out, where should be the focus point? Uh, the middle is usually a good bet. So, and now it wants to know the scale factor. You can see it defaulted to 40, which is very large. I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. So I'm gonna say like 0.8, and we'll see how that looks. That looks about right. So I'm gonna say check. Okay, now it's a little low. So for that, just select all those items and move them by clicking and dragging. And I'm just gonna visually center it up and down and left and right. Okay, and there is our 
uh, sketch on the front face. So now we can say exit sketch. And now these lines will come in as sketch entities. Um, and when we go to laser cut them, those will be etched onto the surface if we define the color correctly. And we'll do that later. If you wanted to use this to cut through the material, uh, this, well, it, it will and won't let you. It depends on the nature of what you're drawing. So I'll, I'll use this to show what happens. Um, okay, so let's se select the sketch. Let's go back to the Features menu. Let's do a cut with this. Okay, and let me cut all the way through so you get the understanding of uh, what can happen. So I'm going to say yes. Uh, bodies to keep. Now this gave me a warning because what it's recognizing is that if I cut all the way through there's going to be some pieces here that are not attached to anything like there and there and there and it's saying do you want to keep them all and uh, we can say okay but of course this is something a good example of something that can be designed but if you try to do laser cut this um, you would simply end up with four little pieces there, and an empty piece here, and one or two pieces there. So this is not a, um, a type of a DXF file that would be suitable for cutting through, but it would be perfectly suitable for etching. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the way it was. I could either hit Control z and there we are. So that's uh, set up for etching. Okay, so that's how to import a uh, DXF or a DWG file.